All right. Wow. So the underlying energy is the King of Swords. Who are you dealing with? First of all, Cancer, is this like somebody that just is unnegotiable, hard to work with, very direct, and they're not really, they don't really have a filter. Like, <laughs> they just kind of say what they want to say, and they just kind of say it without kind of, you know, any kind of care. Um, it kind of looks like a Sagittarius here, too, because you got Temperance and the Knight of Wands, and you know, you know how Sagittarius be. They can say, they'll say stuff. They don't realize that may be kind of like rude, but they don't really mean it. That's the beautiful thing about Sagittarius is that they're they're honest to a fault. They have no intention of hurting your feelings. King of Swords doesn't necessarily care though. He just like, hey, if hurt your feelings, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's my truth, and that's what it is. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be that you either are interacting with in with somebody like that, or you are dealing with someone. Uh, or you or you are trying to be this or this is about you being more detached and me being a little more serious and more direct and being more honest with individuals perhaps in a way that is relieving it of tact we have to see we, we have to see if you are the ones going savage but let me see underneath the deck ten, the ten of pentacles could be that you you could be that it's dealing with somebody else but the current state of being for you cancers this time around is the ace of cups so there is new love there is absolutely new love it's exciting it's happy it's honestly one of those things that open your heart up and make you know opens opens that um that the you know the beating drum of love to me ace of cups lovely lovely card to have in your current state of being where you where the desired outcome is or what does what the desired outcome is and where you guys want to head in your love lives is the four of wands this is a higher place of commitment higher, higher um yeah higher state of commitment um should, it's really a stable place and it really honestly it really um shows um where you have gone how much you've went through and really it really really sends a lot of sends a lot home when i say that it means i mean like it just shows you what you guys have it's real and stable and it's um, it, you know it's good you guys want to kind of get to a place where you know you guys are solid and at least in a good place before being able to before thinking about this stuff like marriage kids whatever you guys want to be in a state in a place where it's at least you know a step above where you are that's not really you know because you don't want to be where you are right now obviously right well not necessarily well you're happy i feel like but it's not necessarily you want to get to a real you want to be in a relationship that you can definitely know it's in a relationship but the thing again despite the ramble <laughs> what's keeping you from the four of wands is temperance so it's almost like moderation in all things is, is the problem focusing on the self is the issue and um it's very interesting because temperance could talk about divine timing it could talk about um it talks about um patience healing harmony there may be disharmony in your life because somebody is very focused on what they want and that's it could be the situation in itself that could be just focusing on what they want and that's it okay um the knight of wands can also talk about someone being unreliable um so that means that the the the, the balance or the harmony in the situation may be funk you know funky because somebody may be just doing stuff when they want to and then they're unreliable in a lot of ways so they just kind of don't really realize that they're messing the whole thing up and i feel like with it's very interesting it's almost it's very interesting because it's almost like the you know the advice is asking you to kind of keep the balance at this moment or like oh, weigh your options right now what's worthy what do you see out of this individual that actually truly gets you happiness because the ace of you know, so the two cups talks about value because you're going in a direction in which you want more commitment and you want a solid long-term commitment um it's something that you feel that's worthy of value um and it's asking to pretty much you know figure out what it is that you truly want what is your heart's desire what is what how do you feel about these options now at the same time we do have two individuals here you would not come up as the knight of cups cancer you would come up as a queen okay and definitely not a wand you would be a cup i don't see no cups in this reading straight up straight up i'm gonna just say it you got two individuals here in this reading that you have to pick it looks like 
it looks like you have two people that you have to pick. It's this harmony. There's this harmony. You want to find, you want to just be in a relationship. You don't want to necessarily, I don't know if you are currently in a relationship right now, but you want to just at least pick one person to kind of just go ahead and be settled with. Because, oh, at least in your, that's what it looks like in your desired outcome. I'm not sure if that's what you really want, but that's what it's saying in your desired outcome. That's, you kind of just want to see, you know, you want to be stable in a place, see where you've, you know, see the success you've made and keep moving forward. You have two individuals here. I don't know if there's somebody that's just being super unreliable. The King of Swords is never unreliable. He's never unreliable. Okay, and if, if he's coming up, you're not a, you're not a sword. You're more you're like I said, you're a cups. If it was a cup, I I just don't see this as this individual being unreliable. I mean, this person is authentic and true to themselves, but this the King of Swords is not unreliable. So it could be that you're dealing with two individuals here. That's what I'm trying to say. I think this is two people going on, right? For some of you guys, it could be that this individual is unreliable. For some reason, this King of Swords is not reliable in a lot of ways. They do whatever they want to do. They do it when they want to do it. And they're flaky and they've changed their mind. You know, they're not very serious or something. But the King of Swords is super serious. That's what I'm saying. Like, these two people are not the same. And the two of pentacles is talking about weighing your options figure out which one you want because i feel like these two people they are both pining for you but i feel like you get more enjoyment out of out of either one of them but you get something out of both of them but you have to figure out which one you want right now the advice is the magician so it's saying that you feel like you are prepared or ready to handle everything at, mo at most i feel like you guys feel like you're, you've manifested um, a definite accidental triangle, but you have eligible bachelors trying to get you. So, Cancer, eligible bachelors or bachelorettes, okay, gentlemen. I'm not gonna exclude you out. Um, there's something going on though. I feel like you do feel like you're prepared for the situation. You have the magician, so that means you have everything you need to manifest to 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 bring in what you want. And I feel like it's all about being authentic to yourself, just going with the moment, focus on what, what you truly have enjoyment of cancer, which is absolutely fantastic. Good, good, good. But then here we go with the stuff in the cups in your hopes and fears. So it's about decisions. So which one is really going to get you to the four of wands? Which one should you pick? Which one is the most serious? Which person is the most serious? Or if this is just one person and your the underlying energy is about picking someone who you know, about picking someone who you believe is best for your relationship, that it should be serious, etc., etc., then it's about picking whether this person or not is serious enough for you in this relationship. But if this, you know, but you can kind of tell here it's not because it's disharmony. This is just disharmony because somebody is not very serious. And I feel like the King of Swords could be talking about this wanting a person that's very serious. And you're trying to have, you're kind of having to figure out whether or not what, what to do with an individual who hasn't been very serious very lately. You seem to be on point, seem to be set and ready to go. But this individual is like, look, I mean, I'm set and ready to go too, but in my own way. And when it's not that serious. But I feel like in your outcome, to, uh, Cancer, you have the ace of swords you have a new perspective you have a new truth to walk you have an idea of what it is that you what you want you you know your truth at this point you, you're ready you're, you're solid like i feel like you have the clarity that you need uh, through the truth here and it's good um and i feel like at this point you'll be able to use the sword for whatever you deem necessary for whatever you want but i feel like at the most at, at the most it's figuring out what you want it's very interesting. Let me go ahead and pull your wisdom of the whispers of love. Oh my goodness. Okay, and it says like attracts like. If you are looking, for, if you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. You know, I was actually thinking about this. That's crazy that that card comes up because I was actually thinking like, okay, well, if you want to be more serious, there needs to be balance and harmony within the self. Okay, it's going to be, so Cancer, if you're dealing with somebody already that you like and you they're very exciting, very passionate, and they're not very serious right now, I'm not saying that you're not serious, but it says that you have everything that you need to manifest what it is that you want. In order for you to manifest what you want, you have to be the person that you want in your relationship, which means you may have to be more serious. You may have to handle your responsibilities and keep a balance in your own life, right? 
and kind of not delve in other people's stuff, right? Just kind of just be within yourself. Just just focus on the you right now. Um, and then that person will have to either catch up or they'll just drop off because they won't be able to handle it, right? They won't be able to handle it. But you have everything that you need to manifest this, this four of wands, this four of wands, okay? So with that being said, nothing's keeping you from manifesting your heart's desire. Absolutely nothing at all. It's all having to do with what you want to do and how you want to manifest this person into your life, okay? So, you do have everything you need, and like does attract like. So, it's the law of attraction now, guys. Let's see what's going on with your wisdom of the oracle. Whoa, all right. Whatever that was, it was definitely wasn't meant to come out, I guess. All right, wisdom of the oracle for cancer. Wisdom of the oracle for cancer. A leg up, asking people for help. Let's talk about being surrounded by people that can help you, that love you, that want to propel you forward. Um, and seeing it with, you know, it's honestly a very interesting card because it talks about allowing friends and family to, to like, to at least help in some ways. So, so yeah, um, I do get this feeling that for a lot of you guys, for some of you guys out there, you may feel like you need help, but in actuality, you probably don't. But for some of you guys, you may be, you know, you may do, you may actually need, need some help with something. Right, this is for I don't know how many of you guys will resonate with this, um, but for some of you guys, you may need some help. But for some of you guys, you have everything that you need. You are prepared. You are set and ready. Don't feel like you have to just kind of go with the flow with things, or you don't, you know, anything like that. You have everything you need. Um, and a leg does talk about you know allowing people in to help you because the King of Swords is a, is an advisor. He always he's willing to help you at all times. He's a lawyer and all that goodness advisor someone that's good at making decisions so with a leg up i do get this feeling that maybe there is like you know if you get the support from the person that you're with that is a good sign right if you're able to get to if you're able to ask for help and they're reliable in that way then perhaps there's just some work that needs to be done in regards to making sure that they want to stay in a relationship and be committed to it right it's, it's a lot of things but as far as a leg up goes, it's just to plain it, put it plain and simple. This is about asking for help. This is about um, not, you know, realizing that you don't have to do everything by yourself. Um, and I feel like, especially when it comes to making a relationship happen, it does take two to tango. You may need to have him, have this individual, or him or her, or whatever, right? Um, you may have to just try to just kind of allow people to help you. Or allow people to be able to pitch into the bounce here because the temperance card is very individual it doesn't really require a lot of individuals in here to do things but for some of you guys it may be that there is a current opportunity for new love to come in but there's so you may be focusing solely on yourself because you are happy with your freedom maybe there's a bit of restriction up to its people in regards to letting them into your world because you don't want to be responsible for them or what have you right any of your reasons right you have, you know any reasons valid um but it could be that you there's a, like a reason the reason why the, you're focused on yourself maybe you're too focused on yourself or too focused on trying to do everything on your own and not allowing yourself to just be which is the knight of wands he just is what he is and enjoys what he do and wants to enjoy it. and i feel like maybe this person maybe you maybe want you need to have more fun or try to be more loose or just be more open and perhaps maybe this person in your life that you're currently with is super serious right it's so serious right now and it's like it doesn't really you know it's yes new love and everything but there's not a lot of enjoyment here because everybody's handling their own stuff everybody's dealing with their own thing but maybe what the leg up is trying to say is that, yes, you know you can handle everything that you want to handle. You can take care of everything you want to take care of. But what about allowing someone in to help you with this stuff? Is it okay for that to happen? And why isn't it? And I feel like in order for things to manifest itself, you have to be, right? And not just be who you want to be in a relationship, but also to just, you know, to allow things to happen. Be passive, allow things to come into your life, right? 